dozens of people enjoying time out and about Saturday afternoon came back to find their car windows smashed. The crimes took place in Clintonville and western parts of the city. NBC4's Jackie Gillis spent the day talking with people about this frustrating but also expensive crime, Jackie. Jennifer and Jared, I'm here at the Rusty Bucket on North High Street, where on Saturday afternoon, people were here just enjoying lunch with their family and friends. And that's when Columbus police said nearly 20 cars had their windows smashed out. Be safe, beware, and keep your eyes open. That's the message one Columbus resident is spreading after a smash and grab incident happened not too far from where she lives. Over the weekend, dozens of cars had their windows smashed out. Cars were targeted at the Rusty Bucket, Hayden Falls, and Tuttle Crossing Mall. I always thought Clintonville was more of a safer area. It's not too close to the city, so I don't really expect like a lot of break-ins or anything like that. But I was definitely surprised hearing about the Rusty Bucket. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be keeping valuables in my home. The recent string of break-ins has led the restaurant to add its own portable surveillance camera, just to make its customers and employees feel protected. At Hayden Falls, you can still see large amounts of glass in a couple parking spots. People I spoke to told me they can't believe it happened in the middle of the day. They say it makes them more concerned, but they try not to leave anything valuable in their cars. The people that we live with like advise us not to leave anything, so other than a few blankets, like nothing is left in the car. Eric Delbert, owner of LEPD Firearms, says one thing these vandals could be looking for is firearms. They're looking for that firearm that is stored in the center console and the glove box under the seat, those obvious places. When they don't find it, they're off to the next one. According to Columbus Police in 2020, 23, 770 guns were stolen out of vehicles. In January of this year, 69 guns were stolen. And if you have to leave your firearms in your car, Delbert recommends a lockbox. There's always an occasion to to maybe need to, uh, to secure your firearm when you're out. It doesn't take much just to have one of these safes sitting in the car, sitting in the trunk, and be prepared for those days when you're going to have to lock it up and, um, and make sure it's secured. As always, if you see something out of the ordinary, say something. People I spoke to here on Saturday told me that nothing appears to be missing out of their vehicles, which makes this all the more frustrating for them. Local for you in Clintonville, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4.